Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here, welcome back to my channel. So on this video we're going to be having a look around this, this small camp hatchet. This is a replica of the German army hand hatchet and this is made by Miltech. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So as you saw at the beginning of this video, we're just taking a quick look around this little hatchet. And this is a one and a half pound weighted, I call it a camp hatchet, and it's by Miltec. And it's a copy of the German army um, issued camp or <laughs> field hatchet utility tool. So what we've got here is a camp axe that has, it has a one and a half pound head, it has a hickory handle <clears throat> which is approximately 15 inches, the length of the head or the blade is around six inches and the width of the cutting edge is three and a half inches. Now as you can see to the back we have this hammer pummel and it also has a claw foot for extracting nails, gripping onto wire, leverage um, uses, etc. The whole head is coated in like a powder coated um, finish. And for me, this is the first negative. Unfortunately, the handle is epoxy resined. It's actually bonded onto the shaft. Now, me personally, that's a big negative for me because from the experience that I've had with axes, <clears throat> over time, with the shock of use and the repetition of that shock and the power that you transmit through that joint, that bondo, that epoxy will eventually crack and come loose. But because of the nature of that, it can be a pain in the arse in field to reshaft your, your axe or hatchet. So for me personally, I would always, always prefer an axe which has the traditional split wedge arrangement that way I can improvise a shaft of some sort if I had to in the field and at home it's just easier to maintain and repair in a controlled fashion as well so that's just my opinion so for me that's a negative I don't like the epoxied attachment <clears throat> now the blade it came reasonably sharp. I've done a little bit of work on the edge. I've made it not not quite a flat grind, so and not quite a um, a convex grind. So it's in between, um, and I've done that for a reason. One is mainly I'm going to be using this for basically processing firewood, small firewood. So I want it fundamentally, primarily as a small chopper. 
but I want it to be robust enough where the edge doesn't roll. So that's why I've gone for an intermediate grind. My normal grind for <coughs> specific tools when it comes to axes would be a flat sharp grind for cutting and chopping and a convex grind for splitting. That's just me, that's what I'm comfortable with, what's, what works for me. Now at the price point on this Miltech hatchet or axe came in at around, I think it was around £11 off the internet, which whilst that falls into a an average sort of price band for this type of tool, I also managed to find this off eBay for a similar sort of money. Do oh, excuse me. Now this, this axe or hatchet is an old Elwell um, brand. So it's a vintage axe, so the steel will be good. It's a one and a half pound axe, designed specifically for cutting. And it has been reshafted at some time, rehandled, rehung. And this particular handle is around, I believe, 19 inches. This one's around 15. So for me, it's nice to be able to get on the end of that um, axe. <coughs> excuse me and whilst I'm kneeling down throw the weight of the axe towards the kindling giving me a safer distance because I'm already kneeling there's no danger of this swinging into my thigh or my shin that's why you should always kneel in my opinion when using a short handled axe only stand up when you're doing bigger throws of an axe where it will go between your legs or into the ground it's just basic common sense safety measures and really you should never kneel down to fell a tree you need to be stood <coughs> do excuse me so that you can make good your escape in one of the at least two escape routes that you should always have when you're kneeling down you can oh, especially when you're old like me oh cracky me the time you've got up you can be in trouble so anyway i digress so this this thing i won on ebay for similar money to the miltech hatchet and whilst they're the same head weight <coughs> overall this one is actually a lighter more wieldy more elegant tool than this so I would be more comfortable using this as an all-round tool because let me demonstrate I've put a reasonable edge on this at the moment so just let me try and get this in camera shot here I can actually shave with this if that will pick up another weird bolt patch there so i've got this pretty much shaving sharp so i can choke up on this and do some fine carving should i want to as well as well as chopping <coughs> wouldn't necessarily use this for splitting but um anyway that's just my take my opinion i would prefer something more traditional more versatile for me for what i use a small hatchet for and this and I also believe that long term <coughs> I'll be able to maintain this more readily because of the the way it's hung <coughs> do I, excuse me um, I'm going to be doing a video on how I rehang an axe head soon I've got one or two axes in my collection that do need some TLC um, I keep a, a selection of axes out here for backyard chopping and I also have a collection of axes which are a bit more precious to me that I use up in the woods for bushcraft camping um, applications <coughs> I'll probably do a video showing my axe collection at another time but I'm going to be doing more axe videos in relation to maintenance how I keep them sharp how I sharpen them for different angles for different purposes so I think that's a, a useful lesson to learn if you haven't already accomplished that so <coughs> for more experienced woodsmen and ladies out there please forgive me this is aimed at beginners really or people that are new to our our field craft hobby so this is just a few opinions really and, and thoughts on the miltech hand hatchet and axe what i recommend it <coughs> For the price point I guess you won't go far wrong with it long term I would say no because I prefer something that I can re 
hang should I break the handle or that epoxy break up over time with use my take my opinion you know it's up to you guys and lasses what you spend your hard earned on and um, before you do so I hope you find these little snippets of information useful and um, I'll leave it at that now and um, bid you all a great weekend stay safe out there whatever you're all doing I'll speak to you all soon which won't be long Mad Dog signing off yeah <coughs>